all right guys welcome back to my channel today we have a wee news update and of course if you can see my channel there is a playlist for i think it's don's news 23 24 that's just going to be all the news from uh, this new season coming up um and just put it into one playlist so i know and of course by as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail i'm going to be talking about shinny potentially returning on a permanent i haven't mentioned it in the thumbnail but we are looking at a center back from liverpool and the away kit. Now, I'm going to quickly say, the away kit, of course, came out a wee while ago. The whole reason I didn't make a video when it, as soon as it came out, was because I was waiting to see if the home kit came out anytime soon after that, just so I could have, like, make a whole, make a video about both of them. But the home kit hasn't come out uh, yet, so I'll just do a video about the away kit. Um, uh, I'll just do a bit about the away kit in this video, and then, of course, when the home kit comes out, I'll do a whole video on the home kit. But we'll get straight into the first bit of news, and that is Shinny potentially returning to the Dons. Now, it either it looks like it might be an extension, it might be an extended loan, or it might be a permanent deal. I don't know, Philly, I've just seen it uh, on the internet. Um, I don't know exactly, but hopefully, I'll, I'll rather, obviously, I'd prefer if the um video if we got them permanently but if an uh, extended loan it's not really the end of the world um i think another thing i'd like to see from shinny is that we do give him maybe the number three shirt because obviously that was the number he had in his prime i think i mean number six doesn't really look right and i think whenever if he had number three it looked perfect um and then of course there, i mean there's not really much else to talk about uh shinny but I think that's all, from all I know, is that it's either going to be a, a permanent or an extended loan. But there's one thing I think you might have seen that I've changed my channel uh, profile picture all black. And I've put a post up about, um, on my community post, whatever it's called, about Craig Brown. Now, it's a very sad day today. Um, Scotland legend, an Aberdeen legend, uh, manager, um craig brown died today very sad um our thoughts are with his family and friends on this very tough time he of course he was part of aberdeen i think he managed aberdeen of course he was the, managed scotland when we were in our last world cup it's very sad that he's unfortunately passed on but um unfortunately we're all gonna die eventually but it is very sad of course never met the guy but it's kind of it's kind of weird how you can help say you can feel about someone that you've never met before but our legend of scottish football and he'll be greatly missed by myself and of, of course all our people around scotland um i guess um i don't want to talk about that too much because uh not no disrespect it's just the video's not really about that and um, we'll move on to um the liverpool center back i think it's reese williams uh, who we're interested in now i don't know if see because every single time aberdeen has something interest with liverpool ev all always comes back to calvin ramsey um if um it well by the looks of it well, according to alan burrows um calvin ramsey um not calvin ramsey leighton clarkson had nothing to do with the calvin ramsey deal um but maybe he's just saying that but i would I mean, I would think because Reese Williams is one of, of course, Clarkson is one of Liverpool's youth players, and of course, so is Reese Williams. But I think Reese Williams seems like the type of person who'd be more involved with the deal with Ramsey. Um, because obviously, we'd loaned in, I think maybe, I don't know if this is, I might be wrong on this, but Aberdeen might be connected with Liverpool in the future with players that we get from the more potential players that we give to them, say, for example. For example, we could even give Duke could even sign for Liverpool maybe next season, but I think because Aberdeen have been increasingly linked with Liverpool in terms of players, well, they've only been linked with one player, of course, we sign Clarkson. Maybe we will. Maybe Reese Williams has something to do with uh, this deal. I don't actually know if it's a loan deal or transfer deal i haven't really looked at it properly i just heard it and seen it briefly i haven't really fully dived into it and i probably should have but um i think i've seen him before he's a very decent young player i think he'd be a very good fit for aberdeen i think he'd work he'd work with what robson is doing at aberdeen and also it looked like we're signing a center back of course there was talk about jay Idzez, but it looks like he's not signing um I don't know. Apparently, we could be getting scales because there was one point saying we're not getting them, we're saying we're getting them. It's 
We don't know if we're getting Pollock. Apparently, we're meant to be sending a centre back. Obviously, Reese Williams has been thrown in. Scales is potentially it. Uh, Matty Pollock could, could potentially, but I don't. There's not been much talk about that. But it would be great for us to sign Matty Pollock and Liam Scales. I want us to sign all four of the loan. Well, we've signed two of the five loan players we had. That I wanted us to sign. Of course, McDonald, Shinny, Clarkson, Pollock, and Scales. We signed two of them. We signed McDonald and Shin uh, not and Shinny and uh, Clarkson. Of course, we still have three more to go: Shinny, Pollock, and Scales. Looks like Shinny's gonna happen, so that could be us uh, three down, two to go. I think if we can get all of them, it'd be very impressive. But I've already got the money, and now we're gonna, we're gonna be in the European group stages. We're gonna get a lot more money from that. Uh, and then, of course, I guess we'll move on to the away kit. The last few, last bit of this video, I'll talk about the away kit. Now, when it first came out, when it said Northern Lights kit, it never actually mentioned away kit. So I'm thinking, right, is this a special kit? Is this the third kit or is this the away kit? It's, it's not going to be the home kit because our home kit's red and white. But I've seen it and it came out. It never actually said anything about it being the away kit until i seen it on the aberdeen shop website it said away kit on the initial announcement video it only said the northern lights kit um it never mentioned anything about the away kit unless i didn't read it right which i probably didn't but when i first seen it i thought is this like a special kit uh like scotland did with the 150th anniversary kit is it something to do with Northern Lights? I don't know. But in terms of it was the... Well, it's something to do with Northern Lights. But is it a special kit de de properly dedicated to the Northern Lights? And it's a kit that the team, the players would only wear in certain games? No, it's a kit that we're going to wear next season properly because it is the away kit. Um, well, I'll talk about it in this video, obviously. Um, I actually really like it. A few people I've, um, I know don't like it. It's a bit... If, obviously, I do like a plain kit, like I've mentioned in previous videos. I mentioned it on my clips channel, I mentioned it on the reacting to the 22-23 kits. Of course, earlier, that feels like years ago now. Um, but, it's a genuinely really nice kit. Um, I think one thing I do really like about it is the um, sort of mixing colour on the main chest bit. A lot of people don't like that. I really, I think... The sponsor really suits it, and the new Adidas logo, the way Adidas are now doing their kits without it saying Adidas, is just the three stripes. It really suits it. Clarkson really suits it. Duke suits it. Miofsky suits it. Mackenzie doesn't really suit it. Um, But I, I, what I'm going off by that is the way they look in the kit. I think it's a kit I'd suit. I don't know why I'm just talking about if a kit would cert suit certain people. That's what you got to really talk about with the, our new kit. Now, I don't know if the home kit, um, is gonna when that's going to come out. Um, hopefully it'll come out soon. Obviously, our kits will come out earlier uh, than all the others because last season they came out. Um, no, they came out um, because Aberdeen have been in Europe. Well, last season we weren't in Europe. We were in the Premier Sports Cup. We'd have to release our kits earlier um, because we've got games to play. Say we weren't in Europe. Well, it's impossible for us not to be. It's Look, we could have been in six. No, we'd have to be. For us to not have any European games or Premier Sports Cup games during the summer. We'd have to be fifth, and uh, Celtic were to not win the Scott Celtic and Rangers were not to win the Scottish Cup. Um, that would mean, or maybe if we won the league, we'd be in the Champions League group stages, and we'd wait until that starts. I don't know, but I think that'd be the only really time we would have to we we'd have to, we could release our kits later. But because we're in European competition, we had to release them earlier. Even though the playoffs in August, I don't, I'm off on, but um, I'm surprised the away kits came out before the home kit. Usually the home kit, or the, well, last season the home kit and the away kit, they came out together. Um, but I don't know, maybe if it, it must be different this year. But maybe there's delays on the home kit, maybe they can't get the right thing, maybe the Adidas aren't giving us the right, I don't know. It's, it's very complicated, I'm just waffling at this point. But, it's not really much else to talk about. Um... I guess that'll be it for this video. It's not. Uh, it seems that all of my videos are waffling, but seems like I've got nothing else better to do in videos than waffle about Aberdeen. It's just because I'm so passionate about the club. But I guess that'll be it for today's video. I'm going to try my best to post as much content as I possibly can this week. And it's going to be difficult, though, because 
there could be like a few days where there's no Aberdeen news and there's no point making me there's no point in me making a video um about nothing really when there's nothing to post. Also I know this is well this is obviously in uh August and it's a wee while away. But whenever the season starts, um so when I find out the dates of the fixtures, um uh so when the fixtures come out um and of course say for example the first game is uh august the third i don't even know say for example that's a, su a sunday and aberdeen are playing against kilmarnock on the sunday as the first game of the season i would from the monday to the sunday i would have daily up videos so i could i would do my championship and my premiership predictions i'd do reactions to the home and away kits but because by then they'd all be out you would think um and then potentially if aberdeen have got uh, say for example our European playoff game uh, on that day on say on the Thursday I'd do a vlog there and then do a lot of stuff and do stuff on the Friday and do that I'd do a video every single day for that week I'd do a, a weekly upload seven videos in, in seven days um because I think it'd be smarter to do it when because I'd get a vlog on the Sunday preview on the Saturday so maybe something on the Friday maybe a uh maybe a potential European vlog on the Thursday um european preview on the wednesday premiership predictions on no we'll probably do kit kit um reactions on the friday it's a lot of thinking about it, but it hopefully should happen depending on well it will happen because um the start of the season will be on a weekend and that's what i'll do anyway that's me gonna stop i'm just gonna stop the video now before i go off on a really big waffle Hope you guys did enjoy it. Put what you thought. I'll try and make sure the comment. I think the, for some reason the comments just keep on de getting disabled. Um, I don't. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, so apologies if you can't comment. I'll try and put them on. I don't know, but I'll make sure they're always on for match day vlogs, but I'm never on for these videos. Anyway, I really need to stop. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.